Baller is about two brothers competing in an underground fight circuit in New Orleans. Um, it's peripherally controlled by organized crime. And uh, yeah, these guys just fight on boats and people bet on it. And uh, so we, our story follows two brothers who um, kind of always have problems with each other from the beginning, but there's a lot of love there and they end up on a, going to war with each other. Nate had, uh, had heard this story like from his father when he was a kid um, and uh, just always stuck with him. And so then Nate and Mark talked about doing something together and they brought it to me and right away I just thought it sounded like, you know, great material for a movie. Um, so we just, you know, you know, as soon, as soon as they told me about it, basically I got to work on it and it all kind of just came together really quickly. I like, you know, stories that there may be like a lot of complicated stuff going on, but it, at heart it's something very simple. So I really liked that and, you know, it's basically it comes down to a love triangle between two brothers and, and the girl in between them. And, um, you know, then on top of that, it was exciting to like try to, um, my hand at, at, you know, hardcore fighting, which is not something I'd ever done before in a movie. Um, you know, and I love action stuff. Um, so that, that was fun as a chance to, to try to make something um, that was like really down and dirty as far as the fighting goes, and that was kind of the idea of the title, Brawler, is that it's not really nice, smoothly choreographed action, um, but it's, it's meant to be like messy and in your face and kind of like the feeling of if you're in a bar and a fight breaks out in front of you, uh, there's a sloppiness to it and like just kind of a shocking immediacy to it that I kind of wanted to see if I could capture in, in fighting. So, it's kind of those reasons all combined to, to make it, you know, a project that just sounded like it'd be a lot of fun to do. Chose the the fighting style, um, you know, because it's it's meant to be uh, something that you know where there's like it's not that there's no rules, you know, there's a some there's some rules. It's kind of like a little bit inspired by the early days of the UFC and MMA fighting. Um, where the idea when UFC started was to see guys from different disciplines fighting each other um, as opposed to, you know, so they'd like have like a boxer fight like a wrestler and, you know, see what happened. Um, and that kind of like changed, you know, fighting and it's become like such like a big sport now with the whole MMA thing. Um, but what, what I wanted to do with Brawler um, was just to kind of see what street fighters are basically, if they're like thrown into a ring, what they do. Um, and then, but where, when our story takes place is um, their sport has evolved a little bit to where they start to incorporate some MM, you know, some MMA moves. Um, and because uh, the idea is that, you know, the guys that, you know, these guys are pulled by the mob, thrown into this ring, and if they do well, they can keep fighting. And so, the brothers that we're following are guys that have, you know, fought, you know, a lot now. And so they've each kind of started to develop their own styles. Uh, the one character, Charlie, is more of a boxer and his brother Bobby is more of a martial artist. Um, but they still incorporate other moves, you know, which is kind of like the evolution of like what was really interesting in the early days of the UFC is that the guys realized right away that to win, you kind of have to start to incorporate all these different moves. Um, so, so yeah, it was kind of just trying to balance, uh, you know, like I was talking about like the raw immediacy of street fighting, um, but then thinking about it, uh, like how that would evolve, you know, and how you have to kind of pull other techniques, you know, from, from different disciplines um, to, you know, in order to, to keep winning, you know, that's how, cause that's how like these guys make their money. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was, it was, um, fun and it was, it was nice to be able to like work on a bunch of action and then do like a drama scene, you know, do some days of, of drama and then go back to the action. We kind of tried to balance it that way. Um, also just so that we wouldn't wear out, you know, the actors too much to where, you know, we would do a couple days of fighting and then, you know, like several days of drama and then go back to fighting. Uh, but still, yeah, they were all exhausted by the end of the shoot.